Chol Kim episode 48. Team Soul Gang. Team King Kong Gang. Okay, John F. Kennedy fight C Team Vegas Queen Girls. Oh, Vegas Queen Girls, ready now I'm hate you. The other goes home a loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, Listen to Derek me. Thackeray, don't shit on no one. But uh, I do like to piss on my seat and uh, at my seat too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> now tell me, the fight game, that ain't rigged, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional be fake? <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy gonna take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turn to pulp. Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the Tight End Zone. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. I'm wearing a black dress on. And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. You have any idea what I'm doing? Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. The deceit. And this yeah, week you know. on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a Venturist man says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiff Lum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflum. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death Thank Time you, Day. thank you. But many say your new film has got gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war is over! It's never over! You see him wipe out millions of Cambodians in Exploder. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. It's the story of a psychotic ex-Marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies! No suck, Tim! But soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You wanna see it? Cool. Oh, you gone and shot yourself. Way to go! Oh, and you look at He was finally beginning to live a normal life. Then, all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Best friend, and even though he's a guy, you know, you just... Special needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. Wow, that 
That's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs <laughs> are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, no, no. I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow. But I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Right, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Yep. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, oh, uh, um, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Jack, Jack. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on! It's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No! No! You said no. It. Put the gun down. My balls? Please! I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on, they haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No! Come on, sniff no. them. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. No. They're still no. big. Oh, God. They're huge, That's Jack. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Mom, Easy. Mommy. Hey, don't grab them like that. Oh, boy, I was kidding. What, are you a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, 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 I. I crapped myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. You just wonder what if. Oh, yeah. oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up. Come on. Damn it. His brain is leaking. Help. Oh, there's only one thing to do. I got to defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Who wants to hear about your problems? Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days, not entertainment, okay? Because I got to tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the yeah, bus again. Yeah, explosion is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. That's why I got all these addictions. Bring my Dutch vegetarian guy. Hello? Uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone, for those difficult conversations. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler, next. Hello, I'm James Badiston, world traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon, often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products in balloons shoved inside themselves to be a balloon floating mesmerizing. We go to the phones. Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was revolting. There were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Roar! Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting, making a fool of ourselves. 
people say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted. I mean, people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere or a good chicken wing. And the strippers? <laughs> Overcharge. Good Lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Venturas that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture or do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? No one. Come on, call up. Anyone? <laughs> it wouldn't be like this in Peru, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery, or the Glory Hole theme park. There, the Glory Holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No, I'm in Verdant Bluffs. Loathsome place. I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide in pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. Avrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to be... Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep into jungle, and there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page! Avrinda has left me. I'm broken. I thought I meant something, but it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants mate? And it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties. Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Just last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, it's cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boys. What about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, paradise regained. Morocco, squeegee smoke. Until next time, Travel safe. Ciao, Bella. I'm James Fadiston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. That was funny. This don't, is don't tell me. CTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. Let's head over to the newsroom. Leanne Forge, WCTR News, reporting what the morning memo tells us to. Pornography in preschool, a sickening shortage. And shiny compact discs turning your children into killers. Plus, the Epsilon Tract, a psychotic underground power-hungry cult running the government and Vinewood. Or an idea whose time has come. The WCTR team spoke to one member. Whenever I'm in trouble, I talk to my... Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this only thinking is going to ruin your chance of getting anywhere with me. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money. But so is collectively.
simply culling the population. Let people smoke. Force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I said. I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world in a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucked. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire. Uh. And shoot and kill anyone. I don't recognize all my land. This one. Killed them all myself with my bare hands. Could I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how wealthy you think the whole country is. Opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh God, give me strength. I married a fool. I married a fool. You know when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glad. Mm -hmm. with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history or mm -hmm. cross-cultural underwear or something. And I was very young, very foolish. Mm -hmm. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that ex- Around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. It was a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. Until death do us part. Gosh, I remember that day like it was yesterday. Jennifer looked so beautiful. I knew I'd love her forever. And then she was driving along a canyon and her brakes went out. I moved on now and married someone half my age. God, I love banging her. I started my life over with Crimson Executive Spouse Indemnity Services. Life can be uncertain, and you never know when your wife will be tragically taken away. Crimson set me up with a huge life insurance policy on my wife. I can't have her back, but now I have a second home. I was devastated when I found out my wife was cheating on me, and even more so when she fell underneath the train. I was nowhere near. Death, see King Kong Kane. And episode 48, Death to Chloe Kim and Edith, Ancient I've Guard see King Crimson. Kong Kane. Thanks to Crimson, I've had a penile augmentation and am much more confident with women. Thank you, Crimson. To have a Crimson planning for the future kid facts to you, just dial 1-866-505-CRIM. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables nice at the grocery store place. then, you sick offense? God, I just don't understand people. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. No. See if you're ever on the show again. Next caller, hello. Yeah, what's that plan that blooms every 12 years? Is it something? The news is next. And you know what? Man 4J WCTR News. Unfair and skewed for you.